What's up guys, it's Lori from DeFace Games and I'm here to bring you the best Android games to play in June of 2019. Most of these games are already released, that means you could play them right away. You can find the links to the games in the description below. In no particular order, let's get started with the first game. Tales of Wind. This is an action MMO card RPG hybrid. It's free and has no ads. It's currently not pay to win. You get soul cards by defeating monsters, and you can use those to transform into monsters yourself. It has PvE where you can team up with your friends to clear dungeons, lots of game modes. Also, in this game, you can get married. Yeah, you can go to the church to get married and make a lovely farm just for the two of you. Progression can be slow for solo players, but if you're joining a guild, it opens up a lot of options. Dumb Ways to Draw From the devs of Dumb Ways to Die, one of the most popular Android games. Again, the silly beans need your help, but this time, you'll draw them to safety. Lots of interesting puzzles, number of scenes, realistic physics, and lots of splats and funny death moments. It's really entertaining. The graphics are fairly simple, but it's pretty appropriate for the game. Anyone who doesn't even draw would love it. It's free, but it does have ads. Tesla vs. Lovecraft. This game features a fictional battle between the great inventor Nikola Tesla and horror writer H.P. Lovecraft. In this top-down shooter, you play as Nikola Tesla with your Tesla mech battle robot and take down minions of Lovecraft. You can use immense firepower weapons to slaughter down hordes of monsters, collect power-ups and make it even more flashy. Gameplay is very fast and intensive. Graphics are awesome. It runs really well. The only downside is it's paid. Overall, it's a must-play game for this month. Next up is Dawn of Isles. From the developers of Cyber Hunter, another title releasing this week. It's a multiplayer role-playing game featuring a vibrant world with lots of gameplay features. In-game, you can build your own uncharted island where you can craft tools and resources. Use your axe to gather resources and build stuff from scratch. You can make workshops and sell products too. You can harvest crops, tame pets, and battle enemies, which is also pretty fun. Overall, this is a great RPG game in a beautiful world. So if you like games like this, you definitely don't want to miss it. The next game is Talion, a free MMORPG game by Game Evil. It's got stunning 3D graphic visuals, explosive 20v20 PvP fights, and massive boss raid battles. Highly customizable characters, mounts, multiple modes like deathmatch, team battles, and capture point. And you could challenge other players to a 1v1 duel to see who's better. The only bad side is it has autoplay, which is one of the most hated things among gamers these days. Also, there's some issues with loading and failure to connect. We hope the developers will fix these issues soon. Otherwise, what's the use of all the features when there's so many technical problems? But at least it's free, even if there are ads. Next up is Letail W. This is a simple, casual MMORPG open world game with field boss raids. One cool feature is that you can have your very own space in Latail world where you can build a house, go fishing, mining, etc. It has four classes and skill combos for each. You can join up with other people for co-ops. The game has cute pets, but that's kind of the same in all games these days. One drawback is every quest you do requires clearing multiple zones, and there is tons of loading. The tutorial's also a little bit too long. All in all, still some cool action for a free game. Next up is Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. This is a ported game, 
in which you are a cursed half-human, half-lizard creature looking for an item to remove your curse. A very unique feature in this game is that you can switch from new graphics to 8-bit graphics and audio at any time. It has a blend of exploration, action, and adventure, and you can slay dragons. With each dragon kill, you can transform into different creatures yourself. Touchscreen controls are mostly no good in console ported games, but these seem really good. It's a great paid mobile port overall. Next up is Daggerhood. This is a quick fire action platformer game. Fans of hardcore platformer games will like this one. It features five worlds, hundreds of levels with unique bosses and new game mechanics for each world. It takes lots of skill to get 100% scores, making it pretty challenging from the get-go. There's no controller support yet, so if you like to play with controllers, you may want to skip this one. Oh, and this is a paid game. Next up is Archero. In this free action game, you are the lone archer, struggling to defeat the oncoming waves of evil monsters. It combines RPG elements with simple mobile mechanics. If you die, you start all over again. But it's a blast when you finally get that perfect combo and are just watching everything melt in front of you. One downside to the game is, in the free version, you'll be bombarded with ads. It can be a little challenging at first, but that's what gamers love, right? Last but definitely not least, we have Spellforce, Heroes and Magic. This is a paid strategy game. It has great potential, as long as developers work on introducing more content. It has some great looking maps for strategy game fans. But after a while, the game itself starts to become a little repetitive. There's not much to the story, and combat is almost the same strategy over and over again. AI is also predictable. Not so great for now, but there's lots of room for improvement in the future. That's it for this time, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see future videos like this one. See ya!